So get this, my wife and I were just kind of chatting back and forth and this came up. Very interesting is that what, what we concluded in our conversation was that the more true you are to your authentic self, the more divisive you're going to be to the rest of the world. Now, look at all the big leaders, all the, all the big examples. They don't have everybody loves them. Uh, and I even referenced Jesus Christ himself. I'm like, he was probably the most, I don't want to say divisive because that sounds like a name calling, but um, his personality divided the people that he had haters and he had just very, very devout followers. And because he was, he was probably the best example of being true to himself. But you look at any major leader out there, any major influencer, they are the ones that are true to themselves. They've got haters and they've got followers. And it, it just goes back to not trying to please everybody because when you try and please everybody, you end up not pleasing anybody, including yourself, because you're not living true to yourself. So my mic drop message this week is you be you, okay? Don't try and be someone else. There's some really great leaders in this industry, but you are the only one that is the best at being yourself. So bring that to the table. That doesn't mean rewrite the scripts and totally redo all of our, our presentation materials. Follow the system, but be yourself. Okay. And you're going to have some clients to say no. You're going to have some clients to say yes. You're going to be divisive, right? You're not the right fit for everybody. You might be an acquired taste. I don't know, but be yourself, be your authentic self. Okay, cool. 